What's going on, BG family? This your backyard gardener. I am presently standing on my land, my new land that was awarded to me by the Detroit Black Farmers Program. Uh, this is a, a lot in the city. Actually, it's like a couple of doors down from my house that I applied for and I won. Um, so thankful uh, that the Father blessed me with this. And this is what I will be farming on. I just wanted to give you guys a look at it before I completely clean it up. We're out here today working on it. It's a lot of grapevines. We're going to get rid of this tree. All these bushes here. Then over this way, little stumps and trees. We're going to cut all this down. We're going to yank out all of these uh, evergreens. Open that completely up. And this will be my uh, farming area to help out the community. So this is another project that I'll be working on. Uh, put some raised beds, some fruit trees back here. Move this gate back, maybe about 10 feet going back that way. I'm super excited about this. I'm, I'm extremely grateful for this opportunity to work with Detroit Black Farmers uh, Committee and them award me this. It's a huge blessing not only for me but for my community and to be able to teach our young people uh, how to grow some food. So I just wanted to show you this and give you a insight of uh, what's going on with the backyard gardener. family it's your backyard gardener and I am in my third garden and I'm gonna walk you through it introduce you to some of my plants tell you what's going on and what my future plans are for the broken grounds garden let's go right here I have pink currant I've never tasted currants before, but um, it was something I wanted to try different. Over here, I have a white currant. I hear they're pretty delicious. I'll definitely let you know. Over here, I have my 6x4 galvanized um, beds that I'll be putting beans and spinach and greens in. I have another one here that I'll also be planting in. Have my starts already ready from seed. And over here's another bed I'll be putting in. These beds was actually um, purchased from Amazon. Um, donations came in from uh, Brother Martin, otherwise known as Organic's Best Urban Gardener. Right here I have a Kalinar 
apple tree that's just starting to wake up. These trees get maybe eight feet tall, no more than four feet wide. They're a straight up tree. They don't do a whole lot of lateral branches on it. So if you are a small, have a small garden or a container gardener, the Colinar apples will be a great tree to have. Patio, small backyard, whichever one. This is one colonar. This is another colonar. This is a part of the donations that came in from Miss Keisha. These trees. And like I say, they're slowly waking up. Right here is my blueberries. Some of these, these three blueberries came from across the street at my urban garden. My other um, garden, I brought them over here. The soil is a lot better over here than over there. So, I'm looking forward to seeing these grow. These right here was also donated from Miss Keisha right here. Thank you so much. Then I have two small beds and this trellis that I built. Also from the donate from donation from Brother Martin and his family. These will house my kiwi berry plants and they will grow up this vine. So I'll have one on each side to come each way. So I'm excited about that. Over here is my IBC totes that I bought a couple of years back. I bought a cover for $26 off Amazon, which was a whole lot easier than wrapping it myself. That little gutter up there, my grand boys put together for me. And it holds, it brings the water off the roof and it brings it right into that container. And I'm able to feed uh, my garden with that. Right here is my Lorraine peach tree I got from Rain Tree Nursery. It's starting to do a little something. This is the only one that's a little slow with the budding. I hope that, um, it wake up because rain tree have changed a lot of their return policies um, they're not like they used to be where you had a year and you got seven days now and it's been past seven days and over here is my almond tree uh, I'm looking forward to seeing this grow this also came from Rain Tree Nursery. Over here is some blackberries that I had extra that I put over here. And back here is just the unfinished project. I'm going to mulch all of that back there um, off and get it all cleaned up. A few pots. This is where I had these trees cut down. A few pots to... Um, put on the stumps to decorate them up until I figure out if I want to have these stumps grinded down or not I probably will so as I turn around this is the garden looking from that way with my two grandsons who have been a tremendous help also so I'm gonna shout them out um for this project as well, Sean and Jaden. Um, I just really want to acknowledge everyone, Miss Keisha, Organic's Best Urban Gardener, and I also want to acknowledge P. Smith Gardener, who sent me so many wonderful seeds. So many wonderful seeds, and I'm excited about growing them and growing some spinach and getting everything going so this is the garden 
and this is your backyard gardener. The garden was named Broken Grounds for a reason, and the reason for that was okay. So the reason that I named the garden Broken Grounds is because it was so many pieces of um, sidewalk that was broken up and so many bricks and <laughs> things all in the um, this lot. So I took some of them and kind of recycled and, and made little paths. Um, but that was the reason how that I came up with the broken ground garden so that's pretty much it this is your backyard gardener I will definitely keep you guys updated on the production over here um, once I start putting my plants in we're still getting a couple of cool nights so it's not really time yet but um, it will be soon I have a couple of things that I have to figure out. Um, one of them was with the kiwi berry. How to keep the rodents from tearing it up. You know, because I don't know what happened to my other one. So, it's your backyard gardener saying happy gardening, everybody. And thank you all so much. And everyone who donated. every Everyone who uh, sent out well wishes. Um... Um, and inquired on where I was. I was just really working hard and trying to get things together. So thank you again and see you in the next video.